Hello fellow crafters, this is an episode that I was waiting for a long time. Welcome to Max DM Crafting. Today's episode guys starts with the announcement of the winners of the 3k subscribers contest. And uh, yeah, it was an amazing journey guys, an amazing creative process. And uh, I want to say, first of all, thank you. Thank you to all the participants because the, yeah, the, the pieces were amazing, all of them, okay? But uh, just three of them uh, <laughs> will receive the prizes. So let's discover, let's discover together who the winner is. So crack on. At the third place, Mark Elsdon. He is the one who dared the most in terms of general form. That clock tower has something special. Please observe the abundance and color in those shingles, the highlights of every single part, the colored tiles with different shades, a masterpiece. At the second place, David Gibbons. He presented the cottage and barn composition. The proportions are perfect for a 28mm scale. The various components are all appropriately sized. Nothing to say about the choice of the barn roof. The shape and every single detail are in the right place. Weathering effects are very well executed. Bravo! And the winner is... Soul Stone Crafts. He strikes for the solidity of his piece. It is once again a small cottage, this time characterized by a beautiful straw roof. The brickwork is definitely well done. The clean lines and symmetry of the piece are truly impressive, but the paint job is certainly the aspect that most emphasizes this creation, a fantastic use of the dry brush. The creeper and the nest on the roof are two extraordinarily well executed details, a really nice piece. Congratulations to the winner! Compliments, compliments to Soulstone Craft that wins this uh, amazing uh, tournament. But now guys, I have another big announcement. It took me quite a long time for uh, finish this 3K subscriber contest with this, you know, crafting stuff uh, and uh, stuff like that. But now we are near to 5K subscribers, guys. I will not wait till we are 5,000. I will start now another contest another uh, giveaway guys and uh, i want you to know that uh, this will be very very easy so the rules are very simple first subscribe on this channel second like my facebook page third follow me on instagram then for participate is very simple you need to put a comment on this video guys so write just a hello write something funny and i will choose the best comment on this video i forget to tell you what is the prize for this contest the prize is inside this box this box has a name dungeon of fits and my friend alexander penner actually give me the beautiful idea and uh, he will uh, sponsorize, let's say like that, this contest. What will be inside this box? Let's look a funny video. See you in a bit. What does it mean to inspire? It means taking a great idea and putting it at the service of others. Our studies led us to create the Fusion Tiles system. Dungeon of Fits has perfected it and is now ready for you. So guys, inside here we have uh, a bunch of components for the Fusion Tiles system. In this box, guys, we have MDF pieces. These are ready for uh, reach the winner of this contest. So please subscribe all my you know socials and then uh, put a comment in the comment box okay i expect some uh, you know funny and creative comments from you so don't let me down guys but now finally 
finally we can start the crafting tutorial of this week and this is not just a week this is Halloween Halloween week guys so this will be very funny first of all I want to say thanks thank you to you for the amazing support don't forget this channel exists principally because we have uh, a big family that is supporting this stuff okay guys so don't forget to support this channel if you like my work if you think that is somehow inspiring remember you can support me directly subscribing on patreon patreon is the best way to support this channel and i want to say thanks thank you guys thanks to my patrons because uh, you are amazing and uh, in this episode you will have a big shout out in uh, the next few minutes guys so let's stay connected because it will be very very nice and original another amazing way to support me is to offer me a coffee through paypal you just uh, can follow the direct link and uh, drop me a box and it will be great okay uh, imagine to offer me a coffee i'm italian guys so i like very much coffee so if you please help me it will be great another amazing way to support me is following the links below in the description box uh, those are uh, Amazon affiliates links. So if you buy through those links, something that you need for your crafting activities, nothing changed for you guys. Just I will receive a little commission because I'm an affiliate of Amazon. So you buy through those links, nothing for you change. And for me, it's a big, big support. So think about it, okay? But now let's enter the darkest dungeon. Stay a while and listen. After spending a restless night at the Daggerford Tavern, the three adventurers crossed the river Delimbir to tackle the treacherous sword hills. At the end of a tiring day, but all in all quite peaceful, they reached the marshes of the Delimbir Valley. The darkness almost surprised them as they crossed the swamp. A small shelter in the middle of the pond seems like a perfect compromise for crossing the night. An old seer welcomes them uh, worry at first. Once they have eaten a frugal meal, she warns them on the last stretch of the road. There is only one crossing of the river and uh, it is in dangerous territory. Vampires. The road is long and they eventually reach the ruins of Arbshield Castle. They still don't know that those ruins will be the entrance to the darkest dungeon. I am the Lord of Darkness. For centuries I have waited, and in the darkness of my ungodly grave, I have cultivated my hatred of the world of light. I have waited for you, and now I welcome you to my humble abode. My queen will give you the gift of unlimited power. You will walk like the wolf among the sheep. They will fear you and the world will be your table set. Accept my gift. Embrace the night. Walk along my corridors and all will be revealed.
Dear fellow crafters, this is a crafting video. My master wants me to design something special for his new guests. We have to welcome them into the great throne room and he wants me to take care of the restoration of the corridors. The master doesn't want his guests to run away in terror, so I'll have to create something magical, something he can do his illusion magic on. I started creating the floor connection pieces. I will create two reversible tiles of 6 inches by 2 inches. If you want to know more about the fusion tile system, check out my series dedicated to this on the channel. These pieces will be placed between the two floors and will ensure a solid connection of the whole dungeon. The Proxon allows us extreme precision, however, I suggest using it slowly and at medium-low temperature to avoid burning the foam too much and therefore being inaccurate in cutting. You see, we now have all the pieces we need. I hear the voice of my master. He guides me and pushes me to create elements of embellishment for the corridor. This will cover reality and his guests will walk into the darkness, convinced that they are in the light. I insert other elements of embellishment. The two pieces are modular and therefore interchangeable with each other. Placing them next to each other will give a solid feeling of continuity. I use this template provided by the Vampire's Minions ShiftyLens.com to cut out windows shapes. I also insert a couple of elegant brick pillars to increase the dynamism of the piece. Now we are ready to glue the first slice on the second. This allows us to give depth to the windows.
Left hand and small gargoyle head as detail. The illusion facade is ready. Now I prepare the connection pieces for the walls. I recover the cardboard and modify it so that it matches the rest of the tiles. The empty spaces are always half an inch and uh, are always in correspondence with the grid lines. The reality of this place scares me. The walls are made of rotting bricks. The columns are solid but ancient and full of mold. Behind the windows there's total darkness. And behind the bricks hungry creatures hide in the night. The wood is rotten, badly cut and damaged. I paint the night before I close the window. It's time to eat. My master gave me these. I will eat a handful and the rest I will use in the corridor. If his guests are hungry, they will find plenty of it. Now let's join the two sides and mount everything on the connection pieces.
let's take care of the floor. The illusion wants an elegant Celtic floor. Reality is made of bare stone. Stone that covers skulls and humans remains. I will certainly not be shy in using these uh, JW skulls. This is done too. My master will be proud of me. I just need to add some large tiles to achieve the same style as the rest of the dungeon. The black, the night, black acrylic paint, fear, the mod purge. The painting process is fundamental and is based on an extreme simplicity of colors. In practice, these are light shades that gradually lighten the side of illusion, while the side of reality remains immersed in darkness and shadows.
the sun somewhere outside these walls is setting. My master will be here in a moment. I have to be quick. He wants the illusion to show the splendor of Merbo on the floors, but above all on the walls. I will not disappoint him. I will create the most beautiful Merbo for him, thanks to streaks of white acrylic paint, as you can see here. Someone is at my door. He is my master. He looks for me. He wants me. He is hungry. Okay guys, this is it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Remember to support this channel through Patreon or uh, Paypal. And uh, yes, I think I see you all on the next episode. Till next time, happy crafting!